Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday, April 23rd, 2014. All right, yesterday existing home sales. Um, sort of a flat report, not really good. Um, pretty much considered the weak link in the so-called recovery here in the U.S. Um, but the market kind of shrugged it off and moved on as we'll see in a moment. To, for today we have PMI manufacturing index and new home sales and the EIA petroleum status report. I don't know, I have problems saying EIA. Maybe I want to say EIEI, EIO. Okay, uh, enough about that. I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter to today, so let's move briskly along here over in Asia we have uh, kind of a mixed close to the day there and in Europe we are pretty much right across the board with one index showing positive okay now moving on to the US pre-market we're looking at the futures here with a flat to slightly negative opening gold is up a tad overnight and oil is down a skosh overnight okay uh, as far as our accounts are concerned uh, when did this start showing up here hmm I don't remember seeing this before and we can't shut it okay well maybe I clicked on something <laughs> Um, or maybe some new release added that feature. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, the uh, earnings play that I did on Netflix did not really turn out all that well at all. Let's take a peek here. Okay, uh, lost some money on that one. It ended up, uh, the calendar cost me around uh, 700 I think, 705 to open, and I lost $300 on it with this move. So I was hoping that I would maybe end up sort of flat, but the long option out in June really kind of burned me a little bit. So let's take a look at the Analyze tab because I still have it out here. Paid $7.05 for it and right now it's down $4.21 if I would still be in it. But I ended up uh, losing about $320 on it. So it wasn't a good play. It really made a very smart move upward and I wasn't... Uh, didn't think it would do that but you know I've been wrong before now would a double calendar have helped maybe maybe not so what we're going to do is we are going to simulate trade a couple of double calendars on some other earnings plays that are coming up one of them here is Apple which um, locked these in yesterday but their earnings is still a little bit away um, let's take a look here we have earnings on 423 after the market standard time so that would be today so we will relock those prices after let's go over here after the market opens today so I can relock them now. They're still showing that at the moment. I should at least be able to get a flat white line up here. So I think because we're in pre-market, that's why that's happening. And another one is F5 Networks. We'll put some, uh, maybe a different combination of trades on that. And then we have sell gene as well um, and I was just thinking about doing it at the money calendar something that you might want to look at if you're doing 
um, earnings plays is taking a look at where the let's see here, where the IV percentile is. That's the first thing. So it's only at 53%. You would think it would be higher. And then you look at the front month, 45. And if you're going out to June, the back month here is 34. There's not a big difference there. Yesterday when I looked at it, it was 48 and 36 respectively. I wanted to keep kind of keep track of what was going on with these. So for today, it's both of them are slightly more elevated. No, actually, uh, the front month is actually down a little bit. So that's one thing that you can look at to decide whether you were going to get in or not. And that's why I decided that Celgene wasn't really a good earnings play. There's not enough IV, first of all, in the front month, and there's not enough difference from the front month to the back month because you can go to some other ones like Amazon here and you can get uh, basically 100 here and 37 here. So that's a nice difference. We're looking for a 22 point move up or down. So this is a little bit better and the IV percentile is at 72%. So that's highly elevated. Uh, so that's probably a better earnings play for a calendar anyway. All right. Um, we're just going to like slip slide into our scan and we'll throw a risk pro I'm not going to throw a risk profile up there and we'll leave it here just because uh, I really am not in anything right now to speak of I have really no open positions all right so Apple uh, we are in what looks like a new uptrend we'll have to see what earnings does to us Amazon now we are in a downtrend and we have a setup here actually this is alertable but we have earnings so we're staying away from that one darn that sure was a pretty pattern okay new uptrend here on Boeing they have earnings definitely not going to be playing this IV percentile 23 very low low risk on earnings Baidu new uptrend earnings coming up have to see what happens there Celgene we just talked about them Chipotle they just had their earnings and they're trying to recover from whatever it is they got going on here uh, and we'll have to wait to see if this truly is a new downtrend we have our target set up here. Costco. Our alert did not go off yesterday. Um, we will. The alert level though is still good. Just wanted to say that and add to that that um, this was a setup yesterday, and when I came and looked at it, we had we did not have any red, so. <laughs> Um, this must have happened. Ah, uh, yes, it obviously did right in the last half hour of the day, and I looked at it a little bit earlier than that. Uh, probably around 3 o'clock, I think. Uh, so it was not a play at that time. So that's a, a, an alert, CVX. Looks like it may have uh, run out of a little bit of gas here, so we'll come down here and hopefully hit our target before our earnings next week. The Dow. Yes, the Dow. Hmm. It is in an uptrend. We have a target set down here, so we're going to wait. Igor. We are in a up, nice uptrend here. We have a target waiting down here in earnings week after next. FedEx. 
We are in a new uptrend. We're looking for the completion of the first cycle after that. And that should be right here. F5 Networks. Uh, we do have earnings coming up on that. 55 is the IV percentile. Not real exciting for an earnings play. Gold? Well, give us a hook. Looks like we might have uh, gold up here. Yeah, I need to get rid of this cost basis here because I've been doing some covered calls on that. So we need to delete that drawing. So this is the purchase price and this is the current cost basis after doing my covered calls. I believe I did one right here. So, um, we have a setup on gold. It was also on our setup list yesterday, but uh, MACD didn't give us what we needed. Nice strong finish. I would be willing to bet the MACD is going to give it to us today. So, I am going to alert this as well. It's an alert for a setup. <laughs> at or above okay uh google still eh, it's just okay. it's driving me nuts sergi okay we're in a downtrend we need a target up here okay we'll see what we can do about it if we get interested in it the russell 2000 all right, new uptrend, target set down here. LinkedIn, it's been very good to us. All right, we have an alert. I was going to set an alert on that one. Again, this was uh, on our setup yesterday. But when I looked at it, it wasn't ripe. But it is ripe now. 3M. Alright, we're waiting here and we have earnings. We're in the 34 percentile with earnings coming up. That's unbelievable. Netflix. So we go, just kind of looked at that one. Is it going to reverse this trend? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I just do not know. I think we need to just let this one mature a tad more. So I'm going to take that out of there. Price line. The earnings season always does kind of, you know, hose things up a little bit for us. Okay, new uptrend. Um waiting for it to come down for our target NASDAQ uh, pretty flat right now but we're calling it an uptrend at the moment uh, let's get rid of this got two of them here okay um, we're calling it an uptrend and we'll see what happens S&P 500 uh, is in an uptrend. We have a target set. TLT. We had it on our setup yesterday. And it gave us a hook. So now it's alertable. Again, you know, this didn't happen until a little bit later in the day. So we're going to throw an alert on here. And TLT has been pretty nice to us lately since it's been added to the A plus list. Tesla had a very fine day yesterday, so we're waiting for it to come down and hit our target. Uh, Union Pacific, 11 percentile, probably not a real good play on this. But they had their earnings, they did pretty good. We have a target set. 
And last but not least is Visa. Visa has earnings coming up on the 24th, 33 percentile. So what we're going to do is um, I'll be setting up some uh, earnings plays on those that are going to announce tonight or tomorrow morning and those for Thursday night and or Friday morning I will also set up plays on those and we will do those as simulated trades and we'll see how they work out all right so we get out of school early today thanks for watching have a great day and happy trading